Touchdown, LSU! 53 yards on the run by Fox. I said earlier that great backs keep getting stronger as the game goes on, and that's exactly what happens with Kevin Falk. The more you give him the ball, the stronger he gets. They hand it out on the outside slant play, and he just breaks a tackle, and all of a sudden he's off for the touchdown. When, when guys like Falk have the ball in their hands, you can't arm tackle. Dixon comes up and tries to just arm tackle him. He doesn't wrap him up all the way, and Falk is too strong in the lower body. Those kinds of backs do that to you. I've seen it time and time again. Falk said welcome to the SEC to the true freshman Tony Dixon. Ran him over, and that got him started on his way to the 53-yard touchdown run. 168 yards rushing now for Kevin Falk, who was the SEC leader in Rushing yard per game entering today at 122. That average will go up. Not bad for a guy that had a sore hamstring in the first half and had to go in the, the locker room and, and heat it up. The 45. His defense has played well, though. His defense has held Herb Tyler to a total of 304 yards offensively tonight. That's net yards, run, and pass. Quick one. Oh, a grab. Kevin Falk goes to the 30 for a first down. Wow. Last week he had his career top, Joel, with five catches for 50 yards, which really surprised me because he has the same kind of abilities that Anthony White does catching the ball out of the backfield. What a catch he makes right here one-handed. Tyler throws the ball a little bit behind him. Look at him come back and reach up. Boy, what an advantage a tack of fight gloves are, huh? Makes the nice move there, cuts up field, breaks the tackle, gets his hand out of the face mask. Boy, oh boy, that's a nice play. Look at that catch. Well, Oregon and UCLA earlier today. Well, the offensive coordinator, Morris Watts, told us a humorous situation in Herbert Tyler's first start against North Texas. They went with the wristband, the first play of the game. They were late coming out of the huddle. They called timeout. Tyler came to the sideline. He said, what's wrong? He said, Coach, I got my wristband on upside down. Can't read the plays. <laughs> and he gives this one to Falk, who dances and doodles his way up over the 20. And Falk has got... One man to beat downfield, 50-45, cuts it back, 35-30, and finally, Ike Reese, the linebacker, had the angle and is able to catch Falk as he cut it back, and once again, a long game. Reese finally tracks it down. Kevin yeah, Falk is certainly saving his best for last as far as his freshman year is concerned. Just an outstanding job of taking the zone dive Finding the soft spot, back behind the offensive center. Some great blocks on the backside, some great blocks downfield. Backside tackle number 74, Sean Wells was the one that really opened up the cutback for Fox to get back into that soft spot. Also, another outstanding block by wide receiver number six, Shedrick Wilson. The second time he's made a key block downfield for Fox. Big, 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 big play. Kevin Falk is back in the game. Here we go. This is the game. Third and one. Pitch back to Falk. He's got it in this zone. Look out. He's gone. Montgomery trying to trip him up, and he trips him up at the 18-yard line. Oh, that Kevin Falk. I tell you, he's something. Somebody else. lift that jersey. There may be an S on his chair. I'll tell you what. Don't you know those policemen they realize that they did the right thing, those cops? <laughs> 24 is doing a good job. Everybody's up in there. Hey, coach, the guy's a runner. This is a good job by our, our kid there getting the, uh, on his heels. I've got him at 246 yards rushing for Kevin Falk. And remember, his last game, he rushed for 234 yards. That was in the Independence Bowl against Michigan State. Second down, 13. Running room this time for Falk. He gives the stiff arm to Fernando Bryant, and he's still going out near midfield, all the way to the 47, where Marcus Spencer tripped him up. Pickup of 30 for Falk, the junior from Karen Crow, Louisiana. Great tailbacks gain lots of yards because they have good blocking up front and good fullbacks leading the way. Tommy Banks, 43, he's the guy. He makes the block right there that enables the tailback to break into the clear Falk 
And then look at Falk just dominate uh, Fernando uh, Bryant, number 25 there, with the stiff arm. Just dominates him. Now that's one of Alabama's best football players. Falk and running right across midfield, down to the Bama 49. Again, Travis Carroll, a true freshman. Made At halftime on Rose Rewind, Tate, a little tentative, rushing passes, and when he has it, he's had some drops. Yeah. Yeah, he's had a he, number of drops yes, today. But when he's got the time to stand back there and look long, he's been very accurate, but he rushed those, those passes in the early part of this game. Falk. 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 Touchdown. A missed tackle right on the front corner. Zell missed that. Uh, McGill missed that ta tackle right in here, and right there he's got to hold on, got to hope for help. But there's no one going to catch Falk from behind. You talked about the magic returning. The magic may be returning. The extra point was good. Showcasing freshman on Jefferson Pilot Sports last week. Edwards this week. Falk. Bearcats called on the pooch kick by Nakia Greer. And there you see Falk. And folks, you may begin thinking about retiring the jersey right now. I mean, this is a youngster that, if he can avoid injury, will move into the category of an Alexander, Robisky, Harvey Williams, Dalton Hilliard, Gary James. 58 yards on the touchdown run, culminating a very quick 51-second drive. Had Woody Cohen. The defensive end for Florida. Picks that front spot. Finds an opening. Gonna have 10 yards and he'll pick it out over the 35 to the 30. That was a two and throw. This one here is starting off the go. It may be two and throw. Down the line, there's the option I talked about. Fox with a pick. Has the first down and he's up and running. Caught by Rutledge. And if he doesn't get him, it's six points LSU. But you talked about it. Banks is the fullback. The freshman out of West Monroe, Louisiana. He's blocking. Fox Perry into the secondary. Has five, has ten. Cut it off at 11 yards. And Banks is the man. They got the return on this. It's a driving spiral with the win. Falk all the way back to the 29-yard line. Returns to the near sideline. Waits for his block. He gets it. Gets another. One man to beat. And Stevenson blows him up and up. And he's caught from behind. Steps out of bounds. Down around the yard by Tommy Banks. The freshman. This time it's Falk. Right up the middle. Has a big opening. One man. And he makes the stop as Nico Brown. And the ball is shot. Third down, line to make is the 14. And they go with the running play, and Falk is tripped up and holding on for dear life was Willie Rogers. To